Hello. Oh, hello. <clears throat> um, beings of Earth and beyond. My cat really wants another cat here, so you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> so, today, <laughs> we are gonna, like, she's needing. Isn't it great? The cats are great. <clears throat> Anyways. Today, uh, we're going to talk about forgiveness, how to forgive yourself, uh, how to forgive others, and uh, generically, just kind of what forgiveness means in general. So, when it comes to forgiving yourself, there is either uh, a feeling of, ooh, wow, that's like so bright, a feeling of guilt, embarrassment, um, probably a lack of self-esteem, um, maybe your pride has is, is, uh, been impacted by a decision that you've made, and over a period of time we kind of go through in our mind just this way of, uh, of uh, self-talk that's, that's respect, no, disrespectfully consistent um, in how it destroys our concept of self. And some people go years and years and years about without like truly forgiving themselves and to a certain degree they feel like they don't deserve the forgiveness that they're seeking. Um, and that's kind of one of the things that can definitely keep people down. Well, the first part to forgiving yourself, and everyone always talks about forgiveness, but no one really says like, oh, here's how you forgive yourself. Uh, or, you know, you do all the things and you're just kind of like, um, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> but, so I guess just in this, in the short, I know I was going to talk about ley lines and I do apologize, but I had, I was, I just got back from the gym and I literally just got out of the shower. It's like in the shower and I was like, I have an idea. So, um, the first step is to really feel um, that you want to forgive yourself. So like desire, desire is the core piece to this. Do you have a desire to forgive yourself? Even if it's just the tiniest bit, right? And, and if it's like a grain of sand, it can be, and that grain of sand can be a universe. It, it's just ingrained with possibilities, get it? No, it was a terrible joke. Anyway, so just in that tiny little desire to forgive yourself, right? <clears throat> okay, so here we are. We're sitting. I, I I want I want to feel better. I want to forgive myself. I'm ready for my own forgiveness. It's been too long, huh? Huh, Nephi. Statue would be. Action. Um, so you want to start acting like you deserve forgiveness. You have to make the conscious choice in your mind that's portrayed through your actions that you want forgiveness. And the way that the universe is going to perceive that is, okay, well, let's test run it. And they'll test you. And, you know, like... Someone's going to treat you terribly or going to make you feel just like crap, you know? You come across someone, or specifically if it's karmic related in the smallest bit or the, in a larger scheme of things in your life, um, you may come across the person that you felt you don't need. You may come across the person that, in which the situation... <laughs> calls for you to not forgive yourself if that made sense so like you'll come across someone like that you stepped on or stepped over for a promotion or or like uh, someone that you stole money from because you you wanted alcohol or you you know you know just kind of stuff like that right um and if it's karmically related then those those kind of events are definitely going to pop up and happen um and if it's just a bunch of other smaller things and 
it really comes down to just, just you know random sequences or events in your mind that you're attracting to yourself that are portraying the fact that you want to be forgiven so once you um start acting like i said earlier upon those those micro thoughts or those thoughts in your head that are like oh you know maybe i shouldn't you're going to start doubting in your head maybe i shouldn't be um forgiven maybe i shouldn't like maybe i don't deserve you know to be forgiven and then that conscious thought that we were talking about is going to kind of come over and push that thought out with consistency and you'll start creating a more positive uh, pattern of your self-image and perhaps your self-esteem if you really try um, and then of course the action the conveying action is going to start happening I love you too. The conveying action is going to start happening. Um, and you'll come across, you'll be tested. You know, like, I think it was, I think it was from a movie. I can't remember the name of the movie. Um, but it's, it's a quote. And it's an indirect quote. But if you ask God for patience, do you think God is just going to give you patience? Or do you think God is going to give you the opportunity to have patience. It runs along the same lines. If you are asking for forgiveness, you're going to be given the opportunity to be forgiven. And the test of whether you feel worthy or not will be ingrained in, in those actions that you take toward your own uh, level of forgiveness towards yourself. If that makes sense. If any of this makes sense. I'm sure it makes sense. Um, a little bit and then if you oh man animals gotta love them I need a lint roller sorry um, and if you make it past uh, just this initial you know snippet snip snippet it's if you make it to this point um, as far as thought-wise and then, of course, with the following actions, I mean, I guess it's really kind of a short process, isn't it? And then you start acting and living as though you have been forgiven. It's more of a sense of guilt from yourself, isn't it? shame and I believe one of the reasons why we are here in the third dimensional realm which is something I'm not entirely used to it's just a little weird to be down here and I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels like that um, is that everything is a test we're in, we're in school we're, we are in school we all chose to come down in school and you know it's not like specific people choose to be sexually assaulted like out of the blue sometimes it's just an old pattern that one person used their freedom it caused a karmic carve and they have to relive that karmic um, that karmic pattern until they resolve it in their minds, their heart, body, and spirit. I mean, sometimes those are the things that just that just happen. But you can't force anybody to do anything that they don't want to do. We're all in school, you know. Where's the teacher? Little Jimmy's throwing airplanes, flicking boogers, and, you know, there's that kid Tom who's drawing in his little notepad as fast as he can. And there's that one kid that's trying to get an A so badly, and they're waiting for the teacher to come back so they can give them the work, but the teacher hasn't been there in years, and everybody's just kind of going crazy and eating their lunch and throwing oranges at the windows and hitting the, the chalkboard. Wow. Old chocolate wow, maybe these white boys and I'm throwing like <laughs> putting pins on the on the teacher's chair, tacks and 
It's a couple kids in the back fighting. Oh, that's the classroom. It's messy. It's mean. We don't know what we're doing. But, to some degree, the reason why we have a free will is simply to make these kind of mistakes, to make, to have the possibility to make those mistakes and learn from them and be better for it. And although it leads to a lot of heinous crimes, I will not agree to it. I, will, I won't. But there's a reason for it. Um, and the reason good things happen to bad people is simply because of free will of other people. I mean, that's what I think. It's just... I don't feel like our destiny is pre-written. I think our destiny is what we make it. And in the multiverse of things, there's a best you and there's a worst you. I don't know which version of you you are, but you know if you're doing good or bad. I guess, in a sense. But it's all learning. So. I guess it's uh, recess time. Come back in a week and I'll grade your paper. <laughs> oh god, I'm just kidding. Alright, well this is uh, the video for today. Be easy with yourself. Be gentle. Peace.